Hello, my name is Alfred Toth and we are back with the Life of Chai Gardening Edition. Today I'd like to talk about weeds and to start with define what is a weed. A weed is any plant growing where you don't want it to grow. Where I'm from in Southern California we have the Washingtonia palm. It's the classic palm that you see in television shows along the beach. Tall uh, palm tree that lines the beaches. That plant will, when it flowers and goes to seed, drops hundreds of little tiny seeds that, if the conditions are right below that palm tree, you will have hundreds of little baby palms growing like grass. Well, those, those are weeds. They're growing between the cracks in the sidewalk. They'll end up with a big trunk. You can't allow them to grow. You have to pull them out. So the definition, really, of a weed, even though that palm tree is a desirable plant in the right location, the definition of a weed is any plant growing where you don't want it to grow. Okay, we have some plants known as oxalis and a lot of them have um, flowers, yellow or pink flowers, and they're desirable plants except again they could become weeds because of the way they grow and spread. Um, let me give you an example of some of these types of plants right here. First one is, so some of these plants are ornamentals and some are weeds. This one is one of my favorites. It's an ornamental, actually an edible plant from Peru. The, the oxalis plants are native to every continent ex except the polar regions. This one's called oca and it produces an edible tuber that's, um, that's very common in Peru. Okay, beautiful plant. I'm growing it more for the for the, um, the plant. This plant grows a tuber. This plant, you can see here, another clover, it propagates from bulbs. And this plant actually has become a weed. This plant came in with a, with a nursery plant and I didn't see it and now it's, it's basically um, in this pot with the aloe vera and I'm gonna to have to get her today's project is getting rid of this plant and I'm gonna show you how to do that there's another beautiful clover this one's actually native to Mexico it's a lucky lucky pink clover it has a pink flower sometimes called iron cross beautiful plant I've been growing for a number of years this one is little bulbs okay um, depending on how the plant propagates is how we're gonna control it this plant is little bulbs, and which means that if I try to pull it out, those bulbs stay in the ground and they just keep growing. Here's another clover, and I want you to see this one. I'm going to pull this one out and get rid of this one. This one is very common in, in Southern California, and if you can see, let's get the lighting right here, I'm going to pull it out. This plant propagates from seed, not from the root. So if I can get my fingers down there and find the root and pull it out, bear with me. I'm going to find this with my fingers, grab hold and pull out the entire root. Okay, there you go. You can see that the entire root is pulled out and there's that, that seed pod. This plant propagates from seed pod. You can see a couple of them there. And when those seeds are, are ripe and at the point, they will explode and scatter hundreds of seeds. So this plant needs to be pulled out by the root. And as, as you can see, I, I'm trying to get it where you can see that against the light. You can see I got the root. It's a huge root and it's really easy to pull it out. If you leave the root behind, it grows back. This plant is going to grow from bulbs. So how are we going to get rid of this one? I'm going to pass the, th the camera back to my assistant. And I'm going to clear a workstation right here. Clear space to work. I have this aloe vera and the pot was given to me by a neighbor um, and the soil. So it came in with the soil. I was going to try and take it out, but I'm not sure what kind of soil that is, so I'm going to actually just break it. I have a few different tools to use. One of the best tools you can have are gloves, and you may find that different types of gloves work. 
this in this case I'm gonna have I, I need the tactile um, aspect with my fingers if I was doing some heavier work I would use thicker gloves but right now I have these and I was gonna try to take this out but I'm gonna end up having to break it so let's see what this does actually I can break it pretty easily with a piece of wood Maybe not. There it is. Okay. I have this separate, I, this is my potting soil, and I don't want to contaminate it with the, with the, um, was a little bit harder than I expected. Let's get rid of this clay. Usually that breaks off pretty easily. Well, that's what happens when you film. You don't know what you're going to encounter. I know that's kind of loud. This plant wants to break off, so I have no option but to start digging. So this is another tool, and I'm just going to start to break away the soil. Again, here's where you can see, if you can see that, you can see all those little bulbs, and all you need is one of those in your pot, and you're growing this oxalis. So I'm actually going to, this soil is loaded with these bulbs. I'm actually going to have to throw it all away. The this, this soil is trash. And um, I'm actually just going to take the soil away. Look at that. Look at these bulbs. There's no way to pull. You pull out, you pull it like this, and the bulbs stay behind. This is completely, it's right up into the, right up into the plant. have to start to the basic idea is to repot this repot this aloe this is what I'm doing so I had to bust away that other pot there was no way to do it of course aloe put you can grow these plants from cuttings get rid of this So we have a whole bunch of these. Here's what we have left. Now we have this aloe, and I want to shake off. And still, there's a lot of those bulbs right up into, look at that, they're all over in here. Here's a big one right here. Here's a big bulb right there. And the only way to get rid of them is actually, here's another, is to just, here's more. Look at that, these big bulbs, and that's, they're just gonna keep coming up for years. There's no way to get rid of these. You can't spray them, and they're right up, they're right up into the very base of this plant. Look at that, right there. So basically, big, huge bulbs. I, this is all this soil is trash. Now I'm gonna, divide. Now some of you may want to know how to divide a plant. This is the perfect um, aloe vera with roots. Of course aloe vera can be grown without just as a cutting, but here I have one with roots and we're going to pop that into a pot really quick. Set it down to the side for a moment. Actually you can trim off some of these. I'm going to take off just one of these lower ones. This one's ready to go. This is a beauty. Set that to the side. Here's two more. Two more. Pull those off. And these both have 
a little some roots these both have some roots and this is how you divide succulents this is how you work with succulents the main plant I'm checking for those bulbs and I tell you they're they're right here's some more right here this is some more of these bulbs right there and I'll be lucky to have gotten rid of all of them I'm doing my best You, have, you really basically have to get rid of all of the soil to, here's one right here that's underneath. I'm gonna use this little saw to kind of, there's one right there. This pointed saw is actually a nice little tool I think that's it. I think that's it. Okay, so before I get rid of this, we want to clean, we're going to repot this. How do we reclean it? There's a lot of old dead leaves here. If I start by getting rid of getting rid of one or two, you start at the bottom. As soon as you get rid of one or two, becomes easier got to get that first one off a whole bunch of leaves I'm talking years worth of leaves okay time to call out the big guns we get rid of this first one down here at the bottom sometimes these things are just not wanting to cooperate. I like to clean these up a little bit. Here we go. Okay, so this one needs a little bit more coercion. Again, you can actually just cut this plant and plant it without roots, so there we go. See, this is cleaning up. This is cleaning up the trunk. A little bit more than I wanted to get into here. But now once you start, once you start, it becomes easy. See, once you start, then, then these things come off pretty easily. And I just want to clean it up. Take off one more here. Now we're starting to get easier. I okay. Almost there. Almost there. Get rid of this. Old soil that's polluted with all the bulbs. And we will be putting this into a pot. This pot needs a fair amount of a fair size pot so that it doesn't fall over. I think this pot is perfect. And so I'm going to, with my new potting soil, make sure that it's in the center. And you also want to make sure that you don't bury it too deep. Firm up the soil enough a little bit more. Use my thumb. I also have this little stick here that comes in handy for packing the soil around. You don't have to pack it too tight, just enough so that when you water it, it doesn't settle. And there you have it, a beautiful aloe vera. We have this other one. This pot is a little bit, a little bit too small. Here's one that's perfect. So again, you need to pick a pot 
that's right for the size of the plant. Something too small. I could have shoved this into a smaller pot. I could have put it into this one, but um, the plant would want to fall over. Really, that's that's a nice size plant. And then you got these little ones. And this is going to finish the job right here. I'm going to put these two in the same pot. Watch this. Just right here in the same pot. And these two can be given away as a gift or something like that. And there you have it, let me see. Um, thank you for joining me. And that's the life of Chai, how to take care of weeds. And in this case, the oxalis, a weed that grows and again, you can see those, those horrible um, little bulbs that you can't get rid of from pulling it. You have to actually take the plant apart and get rid of them and repot it. Thank you, and I will see you next time.